For students, one of the awesome things that's available is the Clever extension. And what this will do is it will actually be a username and password manager for many of the tools and resources that you provide within Clever. So here is a student situation. If I click on Clever, it'll come up, ask if I want to log in with Active Directory. I click on Login. It'll take me to Clever. And then I have favorited resources, teacher pages, etc. But then if I go down to elementary, and I could favorite this one actually, here's an example. Let's say I want to keep my information for PowerSchool. Now PowerSchool is not automatically rostered in Clever. So if that's the case, if there are items that have been added that do not have rostering set up, then what the Clever extension will do is basically memorize the username and password for that student for whatever product it is. So when I click on PowerSchool, it's going to ask me to put in the information. Then once I have the information in, and you'll notice it right away, we'll say first time login to PowerSchool, um, and it's all through Clever. When I hit login, then it'll take that information, and I wait a second or two, and it's going to place it into PowerSchool. But I had to be patient with it and let it kind of roll through. All right. so. From this point on, no matter where I'm at, if I start at the beginning here and click on Clever, and I go down to my PowerSchool, from this point on, what it's going to do is it's going to automatically log me in and give me access to PowerSchool. It'll sign me in, it'll take the information that is in the Clever extension and sign it in. Sometimes you have to be a little patient. You'll notice that there was a little delay to it. But once the students understand that, they could be patient with it because then it'll save them time in the long run because it's not going to force them to type in their username and password every single time.